ready to go from Omaha. Zach Geloff will lead off for Virginia in the first pitch foul back. Let's take a look at the batting order for Virginia. Yeah, it's an offense that did not play up to their expectations throughout the course of the year, but they have gotten hot at the exact right time. That one will find a hole on the left side, and Zach Geloff with a leadoff single to try and get this Virginia offense going. 1-2 to Ortiz, swing and a miss. It's an eight-pitch opening frame from Chad Dallas. They call him Cheese. Cheesehead's fired up early. In batting order for Tennessee, fourth in the country with 98 home runs. Top to bottom, everyone can slug. Well far. And there's his 54th of the season. Hard hit to the right side, Spence to second. He will keep cruising and head to third. Tennessee in business early, runners on the corners, nobody out. Well, this is the one-two punch that's been getting the party started all year for the Vol. 36-round pick of the Yankees in 2017, coming out of Halifax County High School. Pitch for him, but he's been leaving it up in his own a little bit. Popped up. And this is the second baseman to put it away. This is. Runner oh. goes, swing and a miss, pardon me, Jack Leiter. And there's a second strikeout for Abbott in the first. Virginia grabs the momentum in his last 12 games. Yeah. Up camp shows you caught the corner, three pitches to take care of tapping. Well, Cheese can spin it now. The cut fastball and the regular breaking ball, 0-2 count. And his approach. And here's why. Drives it deep left field, but Russell is there. Virginia aggressive at the plate early. Just first grade orange. That's the Crayola. And we're going to see this all day long. There's the change up again and again. That's the new pitch for him. So he will throw enough fastballs inside to speed bats up. But then he'll take that new pitch of his, that change up, and he'll fish it down and away. It's a circle change, which is what most guys are throwing. He did. Pretty, uh, pretty cool moment for the history of the program for their all-time games leader to be able to finish his career. And he rips it to left field right at the letters of Alex Tappan. The Vanderbilt bullpen did last night. I mean, they were Whoa. spectacular. This one's launched deep to left field for Michaels Ooh. and into the bleachers. Virginia on the board. What a time for his first home run of the season. First home run of the year. Wow. And that was a, have some fun, boys. That was a no doubter by Logan Michaels. Jeff Michaels, his dad celebrating that one in the stands on Father's Day. Is able to be here today. The prognosis good for him. Well, if you're going to come watch your son play and you can make it work, why not Omaha? Zach Geloff doubles into the corner. Amazing emotional story in tennis, uh, Virginia. Plugged him right in and he hasn't looked back and he sends one to center. Drew Gilbert awaits. Yeah. Strike three called. K number five for Andrew Ebbett. Well, there's one right down at the bottom of the zone. And remember, this ball has a little extra carry to it. So when you see it out of the hand, you think it's coming down and may drop out of the zone. But sometimes some of these fastballs mm. you're going to see from Abbott will just kind of ride and they'll stay right on plane. Rucker pops it up. Teal and Newell and Newell. A regional fought back, lost game one of a super, fought back, and here they are in Omaha. Nick Kent muscles one into short right, one on and one out. Little roller to Ferguson, no play at second. Two down. On and two out. To Spence. And this one has scored one nothing Virginia. Boys, if you're talking about a guy that the second on this team in RBIs and has been red hot in the postseason with four home runs. But so far, Andrew Abbott has had his number. And you look at that high fastball that Abbott is featuring in this game, and that is the one win. One day. Yes, he did. Lipsius goes down swinging. Chases. Yeah. Got him on the edge. Strikeout number four. Back-to-back -back Ks for Dallas. Yeah, you can't do anything with this one. Backdoor breaking ball, forget about it. Because out of the hand, it's a ball. Straight strikes into that one, and this is a ground ball to short. Another quick frame, even with the strikeouts. Spence takes care of Gellar. Payoff to back is low. There's ball four and a leadoff walk. To the left side, pass Gellar. 
Beck stops at second and Tennessee's got two on with nobody out just as they did in the first when he buckled down. Now there are times when you can throw the stats out. How about this boys. Peter K comes into this game hitting just 111 versus left handers. Gets the butt down coming in is Geloff. And a sacrifice will advance Beck to third and Durkay to second. Fastball into the glove of Cotier. Huge play by Max Cotier, and there are two down now. Wow. You can see Michaels, the catcher of Virginia, he wanted that fastball elevated. Up the middle, ranging cat. Got him, and Tennessee strands a pair. Virginia's defense comes through. Yes, they've been effective all year long, but he certainly positioned himself to have a complete game at this point, regardless of whether Tennessee's on top. Some long, lanky right-hander from the bayou. <laughs> Four-pitch walk to Teal. Virginia's got a pair on with nobody out. Yeah, I just never heard it. I'm okay with it, though. Chance for two. Ferguson to Spence on to first, and that's a nice pacifier for Tennessee, needing a couple outs. Well, and interesting to see Brian O'Connor. I mean, look, it's your it's your four hole hitter, right, Ben? You're probably going to let him swing the bat. But Virginia leads the ACC in sack bunts. Thought maybe he would play for one right there. Let's his senior slugger. Nick Ken at the plate. He's one for two, and he pops it up. Jordan Beck in right field. Missed opportunity for the Hoos. That one goes between Geloff and Kent. Leadoff single, Rucker. Breaking ball tapped to the right side. Oh. Cody A. Just wide. Did he come off or did he beat it? There's no argument. What do you got here, Ben? You got to love the glove flip by Cody A, right? Only I mean, that's chance. your only chance. Ooh, he's on the base. Abbott's got this, goes to second, and that's all they'll get on a throw that was just a little bit high. 2-2 to Lipsius. Frozen, 90 on the edge. What The 2-2. Got him swinging. Andrew Abbott, the first Virginia pitcher with 10 strikeouts in a College World Series game, and none bigger than that. He strands two balls for the third time in this game. He just kind of just emptied the gas tank right there. And Alex Chapman leads off the seventh with a single. Nice job. Lipsius will take it himself. And Chapman into scoring position. Line drive, another knock for Michaels. Chapman will be waved home. Gilbert's throw is up the line. He's safe. And Michaels is driven. Have a day, kid. And there's another base hit. Michaels will come home to score. Virginia leads this game 3 0. Now, we talked about how deep the Tennessee offense is, one through nine, but it's the bottom part of Virginia right now that's getting it done. Michaels with a homer, two RBIs. Chris Newell picks up a base. Runner goes. Pavoloni's throw gets kicked around by Ferguson. Into right field and picked up on a short hop by Beck, but around third is Newell, and he'll come around to score. It's now a 4 0 UVA lead. Runner goes. Pavoloni's throw is wide of the bag. Did he stay on? Looks like he did. Game. And it is obvious, as you said, Ben, they did their homework. Cody A drives one up the middle. Geloff will come around to score. It's now 5 0 Hoos. And all this started with a single and a sacrifice button. Mm -hmm. And then you followed up with four consecutive base hits. Boy, and Sean Hunley hangs his hat on command. Into center field and down. And Virginia's got runners at first and third swim. 
Griffin dispensed to Lipsius, and Tennessee finally gets the play that they need. Pavoloni sends a line drive to left. Jumps on the first for a knock. And Ferguson is going to send this one to right and right into the glove of Kyle Teal. Here's Rucker. Right on the digits. There's ball four to Rucker. Kent gets there. Oh, oh. And what oh, a do beautiful it. double play. Do it. Kent and Cody have been superstars for UVA. Well, this Virginia defense has not been great all year, but don't tell them that today. Just the ability to be able to do that, you know, and, and you got to be mentally tough. And we go back and look at some of the best athletes that we've ever seen. Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, whoever you want to look at. Beautiful bunt. Hey! Oh, he beat it. Chris Newell hustles down the line. Chris Newell, one of the most athletic players on this field. Rucker goes in there and does a nice job of getting rid of this ball quick. Ball four. Base is loaded. To second, Ferguson to Spence on to first for a 4-6-3 that gets a, a run home. Lipsius has the hot shot. He'll toss to Sewell covering the bag. Mm. 96 and another strikeout for Lipsius. Game two of the World Series, but yes, we go. Two to Pete Durkay, and it's chopped to second. Codier from the grass, and Virginia takes their first game, a 6 nothing shutout.